Hey everybody. So this one's a little different. This one's all line art. There's no shading or coloring that I had to do for this pet. But what also makes it particularly fun was it was a more monster based pet. So as you can see at the beginning, you can see up in the corner there, it has three heads, which was rather difficult to fit on the page together. And a large tail, four wings, some big claws, so this particular set of parents had some very diverse features and it was a bit of a challenge trying to fit them all in together. So the, one of the parents was much more bird-like and the other much more reptile. So it was quite a, quite a challenge, but it was fun trying to combine all the pieces of the two different parent styles together. And as you can see, I like big swoopy lines. So this one was also a little bit of a challenge to fit on the page just because they wanted uh, big open wings and it's a little more spread out than what I usually do and bulkier too. But you can see I fiddled with the anatomy a lot and I actually quite like how it ended up looking uh, despite the challenges and fitting it all together. This particular piece also uh, didn't need quite as structured line art as usual, so you can you'll see a few mistakes pass through to the the final piece, but hopefully they'll be corrected in future versions of this pet that'll be passed off to someone else. fun drawing these monster heads and sort of combining the two aspects of the different two different parents together so the one sort of had owl heads and the other one had a sort of dragony monster head so for this particular the two outside heads I took the owl beak and the monster eyes and horns put those on there and then for the middle head I took the monster dragony head with the little gill, gill flaps on the side and added some feathers and such to it. And I actually think they turned out pretty well. And I, I like how they're all sort of staring at something at the bottom of the screen. Although, don't know what it is. So kind of on that point, I always try and give the pets that I draw a little sort of personality and theme. Uh, trying to keep the edits consistent and working together and try and make them more interesting than just a little thing standing on a square stage. So, of course, these are generally meant to be kind of characters that people adopt and collect and stuff, so I always find that giving them some personality makes them more interesting and people tend to enjoy them more when they have something besides, you know, just fur and feathers and when they're a little different from their neighbors.
Uh, often when drawing large curves like that, I find it easier to draw them quickly, you know, use the whole arm stroke kind of technique. And when I rotate the canvas, that gives me a little bit more space with the natural curve of my arm. Because, you know, you're actually more adept at drawing curves than you are straight lines. So, particularly if you work with the curve of your arm, I'm right-handed, so going with that sort of arc from the top to the left is easier for me. And um, that makes it a lot easier to draw a large curve smoothly. Funny thing is, I've also noticed, because I'm right-handed, I tend to draw characters and pets facing left more often, particularly if it's in profile. So I have to make an effort to make things that are facing to the right or other directions, just because it's easier to draw them facing to the left. Racer is your friend. So with these sets of wings, because their sizes and positions were so similar on both sides, I actually kind of cheated a little and copied them. There you can see I'm positioning them to make sure the perspective is okay. But it's an easy way to make things symmetrical. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And if you want to see me in other places online, you can look in my description. And thanks for watching!